And that's I'm a, sad. I guess that's a good transition Segway. into mm-hmm. the uh, film discussion <laughs> portion of the show. So yes. if anyone who ha- is new to the show, and doesn't know how this works is I used to have a YouTube sh- series on uh, my channel where I would recommend 10 movies monthly, uh, just things that I thought were interesting that I thought other people should watch but I would show clips and it would get flagged for copyright all the time. And I just didn't want to deal with that. I also hated the sound of my own voice rigidly reading off a really poorly written script that I would put together, but I still wanted to do film discussion. So that's why we have this show. So every episode I recommend the guest a movie, or in this case, the guests recommend me a movie. So the movie that Aaron recommended the three of us was eternal sunshine of the spotless mind directed by Mm -hmm. Michel Gondry and written by actually my favorite writer director of all time charlie kaufman so tell us about uh eternal sunshine so eternal sunshine is a fantastic fantastic movie it's sci-fi actually and then of course has a little bit of comedy a little bit of romance it's great because jim carrey and kate winslet are in it and they are basically switching roles jim carrey is a super shy person that doesn't have a lot of friends while kate winslet's character changes her hair to blue to orange to red and that's actually how you find out and kind of understand what point we are in the film because it goes back and forth so that's Mm. a little hint is you can actually check out and remember what color her hair is in the scene and that's where we are in the film Um, And she's wild and crazy and they meet on a train and they start this incredible relationship with these two opposites attract and they break up. And since Kate's character is so spontaneous, she has his memory erased or her memory per se erased of him. Mm. And he's so angry and hurt by this gesture that he goes to the um, kind of underground place and he (laughs) goes through the process of getting his memory erased of her and Mark Ruffalo is in it as well he's the person that's running the experiment and he brings a girl over who I won't spoil anything but there's a whole lot of drama with that (laughs) and um, something that you probably won't expect happen and it's great because you go through his mind and you see all these memories that they have and it's really an incredible lesson on love and people that you meet. There's a reason you meet them. There's a reason why you need to grow in this area. And he realizes he does not want these memories erased. And you kind of go through this whole process with him and you, oh my gosh, I I don't want to spoil anything, but it is kind of mind bending. It's super colorful. The scenery is gorgeous. The frozen lake is just, iconic and highly recommend it to anyone who has never seen it yes it's definitely an amazing amazing film one of my Mm -hmm. i'd say probably in my top 20 i would say favorite movies Mm -hmm. ever uh yeah purely just because i love uh the way michelle gondry takes this amazing screenplay by charlie kaufman and like you said, makes it very, very trippy and uh, mm-hmm. just unlike anything I've seen before. Right. So, Jackie, and what did all... you think of it? Or actually, no, here, sorry. Let, uh, yeah, I was sorry. Fin- no, no, it's okay. Finish no, your did. thought. I was just going to say, and all the tricks that they've used were very old-fashioned. Yes. They didn't use any um, effects post-production. They did everything on set. They built the set to be optical illusions, and that's how they filmed it. And I just mm-hmm. thought that was awesome <laughs> yeah no it's it's it, i love that aspect of it too it's like the all the forced perspective like the sets that right. get bigger as you move backwards like the table and oh, it's uh, fantastic yes fantastic <laughs> so then jackie what did you think of uh, eternal sunshine um as someone who the... doesn't like romance movies <laughs> yeah I was say, this is probably this is probably the film we'll have like the least to talk about just because um i mean like technically technically i've seen it a few times now probably about like three or four um it is just you know a beautiful film technically like it it's it works it, it's really good really good storytelling i um i just don't like romance films it's it's really hard <laughs> it's really hard for me to get invested in romance and i i think what what bugs me is like a lot of i don't know if aaron you've seen this in like the film school like fan base of this film but i've seen so many like toxic couples be like that's us like we're jim carrey and kate winslet and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> but you don't want to not compare like, ourselves to that. Yeah, no, but I've seen like, a, so I guess it, it's, 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 
I can say shitty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say whatever it's you want. Shitty. <laughs> it's shitty. It's, <laughs> it's shitty that, like, this honestly, like, really beautiful film is a little tainted for me by just <laughs> these, like, early 20s film school people that are like, that's us. That's our relationship. We're so Ooh. wild and crazy. And it's like, ew, <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> um, I, but, um, yeah, that's, it's, it's just, it's, I really love when Jim Carrey does serious stuff. I really love it. I love oh Truman God, Show. I, I love it. Oh, there's Truman some, Show. Oh. Yeah, there's something so very raw about when, when he does mm -hmm. serious things, and that's what I really adored about this film. I mean, Kate, Wins Kate Winslet is Kate Winslet, you know, great. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Um, but there's something about Jim Carrey's performance that mm -hmm. is a little a little too real, almost. It it Yeah. It hurts, yeah. Yeah, it and gets you in the gut. <laughs> that's that's one thing that I like. I said I I could gush on and on and on about Charlie Kaufman, but one thing that he's especially good at in a lot of his movies, I found like uh, being John Malkovich, Adaptation, uh, Human Nature, Synecdoche, New York, my all time favorite movie, Anomalisa. Mm -hmm. He he's very good at t at taking relationship drama drama and making it very very real like showing mm -hmm. showing the sides of relationships that aren't often shown like like you said the, i think one thing that he does very well is demonstrate the sort of like underlying toxicity of the yeah. relationship between the two of them mm -hmm. like it like yeah. yes. i think people a lot of people miss the point of like oh, like you said like, oh man those are goals that's what we should be like yeah. but but it, <laughs> it, it, it's like the i don't want I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, it, it just yet but the um the conversation that uh that kate winslet and jim carrey have towards the end where she's like i'm i'm i'm, I'm a flawed person everyone thinks that uh, i'm gonna come in and fix them and that's not me and i'm gonna break your heart or whatever and he's just like okay the manic pixie dream girl that whole yeah yeah pretty and much I, and i it just it feeds into like that kind of like the way that we start off kind of in a non-linear order where we show like the, the, the very beginning of the movie is kind of a big chunk of the end of the movie and then we revisit it it kind of like feeds into that idea of like maybe not literally but like this this is kind of like a loop like the like the the whole relationship is like we love each other we hate each other we break up we get back together and it just perpetuates like that's kind of mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the vibe that i got from it but i i, I just love how he uh it, the michelle gondry takes that wonderful sort of source material from kaufman and 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 breathes life into it so I guess we we can spoil it a little bit if you guys want to get into like specific elements of the the plots that you uh, I guess in, in in Jackie's case if you that you did or didn't like or maybe <laughs> things that you'd want changed oh. or I don't know. Let's so what are you so again? It's just I love how unique the plot like the idea of like going like the, like almost all of this movie takes place inside Jim Carrey's head. Mm -hmm. as he's like going backwards in the relationship and getting everything erased and he starts off being like oh man good riddance yeah this is why i don't want to i don't want to remember you anymore but then as we start started getting towards the end he he starts to regret it and he realizes he's like powerful powerless to to do anything and it's uh it's so uh, so it's intense mm -hmm. i mean it really just hammers home the the theme of better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Um, yeah. which I, I'm a big proponent. I, I might not like romance films, but I do really enjoy that sort of motif of it's, it, it is better to remember all the bad parts of a person than to just not remember that person, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cause, Cause there is there, there it, it, again, it's just, it's what the, 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 sort of all of Kaufman's scripts but this one in particular does very well of like highlighting the things that you wouldn't necessarily think of when you think back on relationships past or like like taking that like sort of angry mind state of like I'm well yeah good riddance I don't love you anymore and then right. going back to like okay well maybe these things that I hated are actually kind of endearing in an interesting way absolutely yeah it is it's so smart what they do it really is and i think those are some of my favorite movies where the plot isn't linear because i think it takes a really special director to be able to pull that off and still engage the viewer mm -hmm. 
and also not even that it's not necessarily non-linear like it it it, it does a very good job of like sort of holding your hand i guess through it so like you, right, you never right. you never mm-hmm. really feel you never really feel, like i guess with like the exception of the beginning and then when you mm-hmm. kind of realize towards the end oh that was shown out of order or possibly shown out of order uh mm-hmm. it, it it's very it, it never loses you and it, right. it, it's it like it kind of puts you into like this like Th- this journey that Jim Carrey is going on where like you, you really feel his pain of like everything slipping out of his head and he's powerless to stop it, especially with that final, uh, that final scene, not in the, the, in terms of the plot, but inside his own head when he's on the beach and they're like talking. And I, I that's one other thing that I love is that his like memory of her is like also self aware. It's not mm-hmm. like, he, it's not like it's a wonderful life where he's like watching like, or not like it's a wonderful, like a Christmas Carol where Right. You have like Scrooge like watching life play out without him. He's like in it, and the people in his life are like, "Well, you should have thought about that before you had this done." There's nothing you can do now. Like, I, it's uh, right. it's so mm-hmm. tormenting and awesome. I love it, and I like that she tr- almost tries to help stop it. Yeah, and she because she you can tell like no matter what she loves him, and she can't help that she does. And that that's just yeah, it's kind of the theme of the movie. It's like it's. It, 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 it is a lot of like raw emotion without a lot of thought behind it because I mean like we said that there is like a toxicity to the two of them and it's not really ideal but like they, they just know that they need each other in that uh, right mm-hmm. in that moment and it's it, it, that I think the tagline of the movie sums it up perfectly where it's like you can erase someone from your mind but getting them out of your heart is another story I love that <laughs> so deep <laughs> <laughs> So I guess, do do we have any other uh, thoughts we want to say about Eternal Sunshine? Go watch it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So I guess, so uh, Jackie, from someone who doesn't really like romance movies, would you say that this is kind of, and like you said, it's kind of been tainted for you a little bit, but how would you say (laughs) this falls on uh, a scale of of something you'd recommend? Um, oh, I, d- I would definitely recommend it. I have recommended it um, just because I, I know that, like I said, technically it is, it, it is like a, just a, a really good film, really good story, really good acting, really good cinematography. Um, it's overall a great film. <clears throat> and um, I'm just not personally a little, I don't like stories about relationships. I much like more adventure stories. Mm. So, um, but I have recommended this before and I would recommend it again. It's a great film. Um I just don't like relationships. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's totally fine. It's, yeah, it's, it's, absolutely. Yeah, and it's it's good that to uh, like like it just speaks to the 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 how well made this movie is that it that it can mm-hmm. work with some, yeah that a I genre. would still recommend it. Yeah, yeah. that it, it, it's able to <laughs> overcome that. But uh, yeah, no, I guess. And then one other thing, I guess, before we move on, uh, Aaron, you kind of hinted at like the little twist. Uh, in what's going on in the real world do you want to talk about that at all before we move on or do you want to leave that up to if people go with and watch it Mark Ruffalo's character <laughs> yeah with the Hulk the Hulk uh, yeah <laughs> the Hulk's in this surprise um well there is a man that is you know kind of obviously running this whole underground um I don't know what you would call it but <laughs> definitely something kind of sketchy and uh, Mark is kind of conducting the experiment. He works for this big shot guy, and he brings over this female that all set as a secretary. And the three of them are kind of caught in this scenario that you would definitely not expect. Um, just watch it. I really don't want to spoil <laughs> it because I know I like gasped and I freaked out when I found out yeah. what they were actually happened and why this mind erasing thing is so significant in these relationships even in the real world exactly yeah and i i won't again if you don't want to spoil i won't spoil it but one thing that i kind of liked uh seeing this movie again and and sort of thinking about the way it's structured is that it kind of implies that like maybe for jim carrey and kate winslet this might not be the first time that this has happened to them mm-hmm. and i that, like laughed. that's uh, it's very uh it's intense it's oh yeah just watch <laughs> it it's like when you know you're frustrated because it's so good <laughs> exactly so 
Uh, if you, Okay, so then if anyone out there who hasn't seen Eternal Sunshine yet and is interested to see it based on our conversation, you can watch it for free with a Hulu subscription. And then it's also available on Amazon Prime, YouTube, Google Play, Vudu, and iTunes for no more than $4 to rent. So you have no excuse not to go watch it. And I'm <laughs> sure I'm going to recommend more Charlie Kaufman movies down the road. But again, I cannot stress enough how much I love this guy's work. He's my favorite screenwriter. He's easily one of my favorite directors. Uh, and his whole filmography is fantastic. Uh, everyone always talks about being John Malkovich and this one, obviously. But, uh, I mean, Human Nature, Adaptation, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, mm-hmm. Synecdoche, New York, Anomalisa. That, like, this guy can do no wrong. So mm-hmm. definitely go out and check out all of uh, his other movies.